What is going on everybody? I want you to leave a comment if you watched the last video because for these videos to make complete sense you have to watch them in sequential order, you can't skip, but I'm at a place called Shipley Donuts. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, so let's see what this place is all about. So reason number one, I already like this place. I walked in and they're like, oh, do you want me to make a pretty box for the camera? And I'm like, you know what, you are my people. So Shipley Donuts, I don't even know what we have. Looks like an Oreo, a coconut, powdered, blue frosting, regular chocolate, and then a red frosting. I really don't know the technical names of these, but they're donuts, you know. But you already know that I'm starting with this Oreo one. This might be the best donut I've ever had in my entire life. Now a coconut donut, I never even heard of that. I don't really like that at all. I mean coconut to me is all right. That just does not have a lot of flavor. So much powdered sugar on this, ah! That's okay, nothing great. I would give it maybe like a seven out of 10. That one is pretty good, but I have a feeling this red frosting and the blue frosting are gonna be the exact same donut, just marketed different, differently, you know? And I was correct. This looks exactly like the chocolate donut from Dunkin'. I don't know if this is the right way to describe them, but they're very like airy, is that a word? They're very light, it feels like. I could easily eat all six of these right now. This is just like a special kind of donut, man. I don't know. This is definitely number one. All in all, not the best donut shop I've ever been to, but that Oreo donut, that was something special. And you know, I feel like, Almost all donuts are all the same. They're still not gonna be as good as cookies, but now I gotta get back to the other video, which is why I'm telling you guys, if you don't watch these in order, you're just gonna be like, what the heck is this guy doing? So go watch the other video if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Post-workout, the new PES Fudge Brownie Protein Bar. I don't even know if these are available yet, but if they are, you can use Travis to save 15%. I think this is my new favorite. It's just so gooey. It just doesn't even feel like a protein bar. Mm. Just take me to the getaway and tell me that you want to stay. The Mighty Muffin. This is really interesting to me. So all you have to do is add water and it's a protein muffin. I never understood when people were trying to insult someone. They're like, you have a muffin top. I'm like, muffins are great. I would take a muffin top. Now, I'm not too sure how this thing's gonna be, add water, stir in a microwave, but I figured I'd at least review it for you guys. Fourth cup of water. It doesn't even wait for you, come on. How do I not have a measuring cup? Seriously? What? What? Well, I don't have a measuring cup, so one fourth a cup of water. Well, that's about a fourth of this cup, so we'll go with that. That batter is good. Look at that, and you guys want to make fun of muffin tops. Hot, okay, 240 calories, eight fat, 22 carbs, and 20 protein. That's actually really, really decent macros. It comes out pretty good consistency now. I don't know if this is gonna be anything like the poverty brownie, but it's kind of a high expectation to have. You know, it's actually pretty good. It's not the best thing that I've ever had, but let's try to get one of these bites with peanut butter. That definitely sets it off. So, overall, I would say, I don't know, maybe like a seven or eight out of 10. It's, it's good, it's convenient. I'll probably eat the rest of them. I got a bunch of different flavors if you guys want me to try the rest of them out. Sometimes I just mess up my words and I'm like, I'm not even redoing it anymore. But that was like the little appetizer thing. Now we're gonna go find some real food here in Austin. Okay, so I am walking to this place across the street and honestly, I don't even remember the name. I just know that it's right next to Summer Moon Coffee because when I was there, someone left a comment saying, hey, you need to try that place out. Then I left a comment back. I'm like, okay, well, what should I order? They didn't respond. I'm kind of hurt by that, but it's nice. I can just walk over there. So when I get over there, you guys will see everything and it should be pretty good. Spicy chicken. I'll do a fried egg.
Okay, so I really didn't know what to expect going into that place. It was Korean barbecue inspired, they said, which I still don't really know what that means, but it's just my type of restaurant. Go through the line, build your own bowl. I love being able to see the food that's going into your the food that's going into your food, the food that's going in, into your meal. If you've ever been like behind the scenes of a kitchen at a restaurant, it's not so pleasant. So I really like that. Anyway, this looks really, really delicious. It's just a chicken bowl with rice, corn, cheese, pretty much just like, you know, your typical Chipotle style restaurant. And then we got some Korean wings, which I really wish these were boneless. I hate getting my fingers dirty when you eat, but let's do it for the calls. Whatever this is, it's delicious. How in the world do you go about eating this big old egg on top of this? You just kind of mash it all in? I don't know. I usually never get eggs on top of anything, but I asked and I was like, when in Rome? And I don't know what they call this, kimcha or something like that? I'm so ignorant when it comes to food, guys. So this is a little bit spicy, but it has so much flavor and what I really like they don't jack the prices up here. Usually if you go to a Chipotle copycat, or I guess this isn't a copycat, but you know, a Chipotle style restaurant here in Austin, they'll just charge 15 bucks because they can. It's Austin, Texas. That's what they do. This is only $7.95. So I'm going to say this place is like, uh, this is 9 out of 10. I'm definitely going to be coming back here. So the more that I eat of this, the more I'm impressed. This is so good, man. It's so simple too. Just simple ingredients, just how I like it. And thank you to whoever recommended this place to me, even though you didn't respond back to my comment, but that's okay. Extremely satisfied with that decision. And because I chose to walk there and walk home, I'm gonna burn off so many calories in this four minute walk. So I guess I can have a little bit of dessert. So I have got to believe, where'd they go? Where in the world? I was trying to show you guys something and they just like, what the heck happened? Here we go. So I have got to believe that these Oreos are only in Austin, Texas. So let me tell you why I think that. When a new Oreo comes out, the Fitzbo community loses their damn minds like they've never seen an Oreo before. And I haven't seen anyone posting about it. So maybe it's just a Texas, a Texas exclusive chocolate peanut butter pie. And if you didn't know, there's only one right way to eat an Oreo. Let me show you. So first, you take off the cookie and then I don't even know what to do with you, but I'm just gonna put you aside for now. Let's try this again. First, you take the cookie apart. There we go. You eat the side of the cookie without the icing. Okay, it tastes like a typical Oreo cookie. And then you have this side, which tells you everything you need to know about that particular Oreo. I mean, I don't know, it's not as good as the s'mores Oreo. I don't know what idiot discontinued that, but that was just crazy. And I don't even know that it's as good as the Cinnabon Oreo, but I'm not gonna complain about many. There is a few that I haven't liked. Just shut up, it's an Oreo. This is another one of those City Cakes cookies that Brad left here. I don't know if you guys can tell how big this thing is, but wow. Red velvet cookie, and then we got Dairy-free chocolate chip cookie dough halo top. And honestly, I haven't been that much of a fan of the dairy-free stuff, so let's just give it a go. It's okay. It's just a little bit more grainy, I will say, than the regular stuff, but it melts a lot quicker, so that's nice. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish this entire cookie, but I'm trying to get like a good break. Oh, it's just falling apart. The last one, that I put on the waffles. <laughs> if you guys remember that vi that video, that was ridiculous. That was a lot better, but this one, it's decent. So I realized this entire video, all I did was put things in my mouth and some people are gonna love that for me. These are not my favorite videos to make. If you're new to the channel, please watch some of my other content. I promise you it's a little bit better, but if you like, if you guys like this, then I don't know, I'm just trying to switch things up. And plus I had a busy weekend, which you would know if you watch my previous video. So please go back and do so. And this is where we're gonna cut it off. So thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up button. All you have to do is click the button and it really does help me out a lot. Leave a comment. If you're a new subscriber, it was great to have you here. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.
like it looked pretty. 